Hey, welcome to the Advancer Studio. Today I want to show you how to make these gold leaf balloon orbs. They make beautiful additions to a balloon arrangement or garlands, and they're so simple to put together. So follow along and I'll show you how to make these elegant balloon additions. So first of all, you need a 20 inch bobo balloon. And before we can start stuffing this, we need to first pre-stretch the balloon. So I'm going to stretch the balloon across the center, rotate it, and stretch again until I get all the way around. And the balloon looks really wrinkly, just like this. Then I'm going to take my hand pump or you could use an electric balloon inflator and fully inflate that bubble so it's nice and stretched out. Then just release all the air and we can start stuffing it with our gold leaf. For this project, I'm using gold leaf flakes, which I got off of Amazon, and I'll have linked in the description box below. This comes in both gold and silver, and it's gold leaf sheets that have already been shredded up into little pieces, and we'll be adding this into our bubble balloon in these loose bits. To get it inside the balloon, I'm using this pair of large tweezers instead of my fingers because the gold leaf sticks to anything and everything, and it easily flutters around. So I've also laid a sheet of paper down where I'm working so that it doesn't stick to my work surface and I can clean it up much easier later. To help me open up the balloon nozzle, I've also got a pair of expansion pliers which will help keep the opening nice and wide and make it much easier to stuff. So first of all, I'm going to take the nozzle of the bobo balloon and roll it down so it's nice and short. Then I'm going to take my expansion pliers and insert those right into the middle of the nozzle and open that up nice and wide so it's easy to add in our gold leaf. If you don't have a set of these pliers, you could always use a funnel. Just know that some of your gold leaf will end up sticking to the inside of the funnel. Using the tweezers, I'm going to grab small batches of the gold flakes and insert them down into the body of the bobo balloon. I have found for good results, the most important thing is keeping the flakes nice and loose. We don't want them to clump up into tight little spots or they won't spread out when we go to inflate our balloon. So try and keep them as loose and spread apart inside the bubble balloon as possible. Now you may pull out clumps of gold leaf that's stuck together and before we can add it inside of our balloon, we need to fluff all of those sheets of gold leaf apart. Because if I had just put that in as one clump, when we inflate the balloon, it would only show up as a small spot. But by revealing this large surface area of these sheets of gold leaf, we'll get much better coverage between our two balloons when we inflate them. The other important thing to keep in mind is be generous when you're adding your gold leaf inside the bobo balloon. It's far better to have a lot of gold leaf inside the bobo balloon than to have it looking sparse on top of our black balloon. And you'll be surprised how much gold leaf is actually in that tiny jar. I inflated six of these 20 inch bobo balloons as well as 35 inch balloons and barely touched what was inside that little jar. Now we just need to evenly distribute all those gold flakes around the inside of our bubble balloon. You want to make sure they get all the way to the edge and they're not too clumped up on one side of the balloon or the other. Once you're happy with their placement, you're then going to grab a balloon to insert inside the bubble. So I'm using a 16 inch black balloon, but you could use any color you like and it could be even larger. So you could go with an 18 inch or if you wanted to upsize both your latex and your bubble balloons, you could do a gigantic gold version of this really easily. So I'm going to insert a balloon stick inside my latex balloon just to make inserting it into the bubble much easier. Then just push the latex balloon all the way in until the nozzles of both the latex and the bubble are even with each other. Then I'm going to put a little bit of air into the latex balloon using my hand pump, but you could also use an electric balloon inflator for this. But I'm only going to put enough air into the latex so it's a couple inches in diameter. Then I'm going to rotate both balloons around and shake those gold flakes to make sure I get even coverage all the way around the latex. Because once that latex balloon touches the inside of the bubble balloon, those gold flakes aren't going to move around anymore. So you have to be happy with their placement before that happens. Now I'm just going to fully inflate my latex balloon until it's its full size, which for me is 16 inches, and then I'm going to tie a knot in the nozzle of only the latex balloon. Because the air is only inside the latex, we don't even have to worry about the nozzle of the bubble balloon. So here you can see the bubble balloon's nozzle, I'm just going to pull it off to the side and tie a nice knot in that latex balloon. So I'm going to trim away the excess nozzle of this bubble just so it's not visible in whatever I want to add it to later, and I'm also going to prep this 
pieces for easy tie-in later. So I'm going to take the end of a 260 balloon and pinch it against the nozzle of the latex balloon, stretch it tight, and wrap it around a couple times and then tie it in a simple knot. And the tail ends of this 260 balloon will allow me to tie the bubble into any arrangement I want really easily. By adding a little bit of gold leaf, we're able to turn a simple double stuffed balloon into a gorgeous statement piece for our balloon arrangements. This adds visual interest as well as value to the work that we're creating. If you enjoyed today's video, boop that like button and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be using this gorgeous balloon in a circle arch backdrop in my next video. So until then, stay creative!